Okay, folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to build a successful art business, but also how to unlock and build up on your amazing artistic talents. Today, we are going to be looking at the three killer tips with Etsy. It's one of the questions I get asked all the time. So welcome to today's show. Okay, folks, well, as you probably guessed by now, I'm not in my usual location. Today, we're in my home studio here in Scotland, and um, we've kind of got some things kind of kicking around. I've just finished filming a brand new course, which is going to be coming out really, really soon, within the next couple of weeks, in fact, called How to Build a Successful Art Business. If you go to outreachart.org, subscribe to our mailing list, you will be first in the queue to get the opportunity to purchase this course. You're gonna absolutely love it. It walks you through every single thing that uh, you're gonna to need to be a successful art business or to, to build a successful art business. Okay, so we're talking about Etsy today. Now, three killer things that I have found with Etsy that you guys need to know, okay? Because I have seen so many people asking this question, does anybody make money on Etsy? How do you make money on Etsy? What is, what is Etsy? What's it all about? Um, so, pen and paper, and I'm gonna give you three really quick and simple things that you need to know about Etsy right here, right now. This will help you make an informed decision as to whether it's worth your time to sell on Etsy or not. So what are some of the things that you gotta be aware of with Etsy? Okay, nobody that I know of and in my research um, has made in one sale massive amounts of income. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about prints or, or, or anything like that. What I'm talking about is for one painting, it's very unlikely that you're going to get someone that spends $20,000 or pounds or yen, okay, that is going to buy from you. What people on Etsy are looking for essentially is something that is low cost to buy, okay? Now we're talking really low cost, like no more than five, maybe maybe $10, okay, for a specific product. Now, the, the reason that there is, I, I'm, it sounds terrible to say this, but I see Etsy almost like the car boot sale of the social media world. S similar to, it's, it's almost like one step either below or above eBay, okay? eBay, you've got a better chance. Etsy's definitely a craft market. So, people are looking to buy, uh, you know, things like very small prints. They're looking to buy logos, stickers, uh, craft materials, flowers, um, you know, uh, Pennywise flowers. They're looking to buy, you know, very simple, nice things that don't cost a lot of money at all. So, what do you need to know about this to succeed on Etsy? Two specific things that you've got to be aware of. Your product has to be quick to make and low cost to sell, okay? So for example, if you are making, I don't know, prints, I've got them in front of me, right, box frames, and they cost, I think, right, okay, we, we did this in, in the course, so the box frame itself might cost five pounds, I'm just gonna narrow it up for, for maths, five pounds to buy the frame, okay? Two pounds to do the print, and say another, you know, three pounds to sell or, or to, to send. Okay, so you're talking 10 pounds there, okay? In the United States, that works at about 12, 12 pound 50, something like that, um, US, US dollars. Okay, so you're talking 12 pound 50. That, believe it or not, is more higher end scale of things for a print, okay? For an original painting, people are probably gonna pay between 100 or 200 pounds you know, $250 on Etsy. Okay, so if you're looking to make thousands of pounds from one piece of art on Etsy that you've spent a ton of time on, you really value, Etsy's not the place for you, okay? The places that you're gonna be looking at are artfinder, artgallery.co.uk, even Fine Art America is not really the place for you because they're looking at more craft things, they're looking at very simple, quick to make things, and it's not the best place that you, for you as an artist, as a businessman or woman, to actually generate a lot of income. Now, if you can make stickers for a pound and sell them at 150 or two pounds, okay, you've made a pound profit. So every time a 
or, or sticker sells or a logo sells, you're making a pound profit every time. That means to sell 100 stickers, you've guessed it, you're going to make 200 pounds. Less, obviously, your expenses. The other thing that you need to be aware of is, again, so low cost to produce. It has to be quick to mix and so don't spend, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours. I, I can spend a whole, you know, session on this, guys, because you've got to remember, if you were working at an hourly rate of, say, £7.40 an hour, £7.50 an hour, okay, and your sticker is only going to sell for one or two pounds, it has to be really fast. You've got to be able to knock these things out pretty much every 25 seconds. Okay, do you see what I'm meaning here? One thing that you do need to be aware of if you are selling on Etsy is this. People were talking all about the fees that Etsy charge. Now, I know for a fact I'm an Etsy seller. Uh, well, I have an Etsy store. Um, but the fees on there are 20 cents or 20, um, I'm trying to think what it is. Yeah, 20 cents per listing, US dollars, of course. Um, per listing, but... If anything sells on Etsy, they charge you 9%. So for example, if you sell something for £10 on Etsy, they're going to charge you 90p plus the 20p listing fee. So they're going to charge you £1.20 for every £10 worth of material and merchandise that you sell. Okay, So that's something to be aware of. It's not that high. It is actually one of the lower ones that's out there, but it's not that high. Um, I know maybe one or two people, and it is very, very small, that have actually sold on Etsy. But there are a couple of things that you can do to increase your potential for selling on Etsy, especially when you're starting out to kind of get a feel for it. There is an option for marketing. Now, I personally use this option, okay, where you can spend $2 a day, they will do marketing for you, and you don't get charged until somebody clicks your ad. So I've now got uh, three months worth of marketing out there for, I think I've probably paid about $7, which in the UK is probably about £4, something like that. £4 for nearly 2,000 people to see what I do is great value for money, okay? And again, it takes time for things to build. It takes things, time for things to sell as well. You've got to find those right clients. You've got to find your right customers. There are a lot of people, for example, that love our Jack the Ripper stuff, and there are a lot of people out there that love our Alice Cooper original stuff, but they're not prepared to spend £600 on an original painting. For an Alice Cooper print, they may spend £10 on it. Now, final thing that I'm going to say on this, folks, just to kind of you know give you guys clarity, if I make £10 or £9.90 or £9.80 on every Alice Cooper print that I make, then you've got to take in consideration your ink, of course, which isn't cheap, but we're still making a nice hefty profit. That's after, um, you know, they've taken all their fees, but before your postage. So for example, if postage is £3.50, say United States, £3.50, you've then got Etsy's fees that are on top, you know, so it works out that you're only actually going to make maybe four or five pounds profit after everything. But times a thousand, that actually works out quite nicely. Okay, so I hope this helps you make a decision as to whether or not it's worth your time selling on Etsy. My personal thing is continue your marketing, continue your social media stuff, look at ArtFinder, look at artgallery.co.uk um, to really build and sell your stuff. Um, Etsy's good if you can make and sell stuff really, really quickly and really cheaply. Do it, great, wonderful. Um, but if not, then you've got to look elsewhere. So that's all we've got time for today, folks. I know I've run a little bit over and I hope this really, really helps. I'm a little bit out of practice doing these, uh, doing these live sessions and art tips, but we're, you know, we're getting there. And the main thing is you're getting great quality um, teaching and education as well in the art business, not just as an artist, which is absolutely vital for your success. So I want you to head to outreachart.org, sign up to our newsletter, folks. You will absolutely love it. We're going to more depth uh, than we can do, obviously, on a five minute or 10 minute tutorial. Um, and you will absolutely love it. And until next time, I have been your host, John Morris, the painter of memories. This has been Art Tips with John, the show that teaches you how to unleash your creative talents, but also how to, make, how to build an absolutely awesome art business. Until next week, I'll see you soon. 
Oh, one final thing to say, folks, just as a PS, this Friday we are going to be talking about thinking outside the box and we have got a real awesome show for you. Last year we created a character called The Artist. Now, it was in an effort to try and really get people talking, get some different eyes upon our product and just have a little bit of fun because for so many years I've been doing the same thing over and over again. This time, because it's coming up to Halloween, we're going to put something very, very unique and special out there. It involves me with face paint, and I'm a silent character. It's all narrated, but you get an awesome art tutorial that's there as well that'll be Halloween themed. So guys, tune in this Friday, of course, on YouTube or on Art Tips with John on Facebook, and, uh, and I will see you there for something really, really different. Take care. God bless.